Welcome back to Leilani Electronics. The schematic we're going to go over is for the 7 band spectrum analyzer. It's a circuit that I designed a while back that I finally got the chance to do. Uh, go check out the video. It's an awesome project. Um, the circuit is uh, based around the MSG EQ7. And that takes basically uh, audio input signal and breaks it out into seven bands 63 hertz 160 hertz 400 1k 2.5 6.25 and 16 kilohertz um, <clears throat> so right here you have your microphone which goes to um, a preamp which gives you your gain after the preamp it goes to a buffer I always use a buffer anytime I use uh, a, pre, a preamp for, for my audio. It just cleans it up, you know, gives you a good clean signal. Uh, your second input is your audio jack, which you have left and right, and I have a switch. So you can toggle between audio input or your microphone input. So you can see your voice or you can hear a song. Okay, so this switch S2 toggles which source you want. Okay, all right, so again, we have the mic. This goes to a preamp, to a buffer, and to the MSG EQ. The audio jack, left and right, combine. You have a, a R9 for the adjust, the adjust the level, up or down, you know, and that uh, um, goes into the chip as well. Here's your power supply. Everything runs off of 5 volts. Here's your protection diode. Okay, now we'll go back. Um, coming out of the chip, the MSG EQ is going to give you a voltage output proportional to the level of that particular band when you toggle through each, each band. It's going to give you a voltage output. So you strobe it. First one, strobe it again, second, and so on until you get to the seventh band. Okay, at an output, it goes into another buffer, into the 10-bit A to D converter, which is a MCP 3001. I use this chip a lot. It's 10-bit. It's accurate. That goes into a PIC 16F688. So that talks to the A to D, which gets a signal from the MSG. Okay, to PIC uses a serial connection for your row drivers and your column driver, which is the Micro 5891 and STPOH are your rows. Okay, we use di these diodes D4 through D10 to drop the voltage down because this chip outputs 5 volts at up to 500 milliamps per channel. So these bar graph displays you don't want to put 5 volts on them. So these dials just help, you know, drop the voltage down a little bit. Um, okay. So here are your 7 bands. Each band uses two 10-segment bar graph displays. So you can get 20, 20, yeah, 20 segments, 20 levels. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now your microchip, once it gets the data from A to D converter, I have a program it will turn on the first band all the way through the seventh. Now it's muck, so they're never on at the same time. It disappears that way. So what you do is you turn on the first band through your column driver, which is this micro 5891. What it will do is it will power this whole, this whole band, this whole side of this segment, and then your row drivers will tell will tell the um bar ref like which LED to be on. So for instance, if the level was 10, the 10th LED will be on, it'll drive all the way up to 10 and so on. And then go to the next band, it'll turn off one, then turn on two for that particular column and so on. It happens so fast. You know, all seven will just keep updating, updating, so it looks like they're all on at the same time or just bouncing around. Um, 
that scroll back over uh, right here for the EQ I have a, another switch on the board which um, which will allow you to go to a dot mode or a bar or bar mode so right now this program as a, um, a bar mode which means as the level goes up the LEDs will increase together a dot mode if if the level was 10 only the tenth one will be on it will just bounce up and down uh, so that's basically it this is the schematic for it's not that complicated easy to do you can go to the website leilonelectronics.com print it out uh, look at it hope you like it you know if you need a board email me from the website I'll give you a part list which I'll put up on a website also but this will be a this is actually on the website now so this is pretty much it microphone preamp go to a buffer into the chip or your audio from your phone or whatever input laptop comes out of the buffer into an A to D converter through the microchip and that uh, um, converts whatever data it's seeing into a visual something visual okay and that's that's pretty much it R3 and R4 R5 are your um, your uh, resistors to adjust the brightness of the display I just have them fixed but you know if you want to adjust it you just make the make them um, put some potentiometers in place of the regular resistor then you have your bypass capacitors you always use those and that's it I hope you liked it go to uh, leilonelectronics.com print it out check it out thank you